my name is Rob Reed, and we're here this afternoon in the beautiful countryside of the Worcestershire Hills to talk to this year's winner of Bird Photographer of the Year, Karen Steele. So Karen, uh, when did you take up photography and what were your motivations? I got my first DSLR in 2015, I think, um, because I was going on safari. I had been uh, once before on safari, which was my dream holiday, um, and was really miffed when all these people with huge big lenses and cameras kept pushing me out the way and telling me to get to the back of the queue. What was your first camera? Uh, it was the Canon 70D and then very shortly followed uh, by uh, a Canon 3D for a full framed one. Uh, what's in your camera bag now? Ah, well I'm a bit of an eclectic magpie so a strange selection of things. I have uh, a 1DX and a 1DX2, uh, so I'm very spoiled, but I also have, a Ni uh, those are Canon, and I also have a Nikon because I wanted a 50 megapixel camera and I think that's the best body on the market at the moment. So your loyalties are split. I, I am a little bit two-faced, yes. <laughs> My, I love my Nikon 200-500 because it's light and portable and with that big sensor I can I love afford that well. to crop in yeah. so yeah. that's great. Um, I have sold a kidney so that I could buy the <laughs> um, Canon uh, F4 500mm. It's the bomb. only way. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, uh, which also absolutely love. And then I have the uh, probably 100 to 200 I use quite a lot. Um, Canon, everything else is Canon. I only have the two Nikon. I have a, a Tamron wide angle, which is fantastic. I use on my Nikon. Um, I have some Sigma uh, lenses. So a little bit of everything. Uh, describe the Lake Kikini trip. It was quite a, an emotional trip because a few days before we were due to fly, I was phoned and told that we wouldn't be able to photograph the Dalmatian pelicans because the lake had frozen over for the first time, I think in about 15 years. Uh, the day we flew, we got a message saying, actually a few small spots in the lake had started to thaw and there were two pelicans back. And then we were in Bulgaria for the first couple of days and by the time we got down to the lake about 20 or 30 pelicans had returned and what at the outset looked like it was going to be a really disappointing trip because we didn't get to see the birds turned out to be amazing because it was a unique experience yeah, you don't often good. see them a on unique ice. opportunity absolutely and it, the only difficult thing was actually trying to focus on them without laughing too much because the pelicans clearly weren't used to the ice either so they were coming in and hitting each other almost like 10 pin bowls on a bowling alley as they were putting the brakes on and flapping horrendously to try and stop as they landed and took off from the ice it was beautiful what were the circumstances that uh, led up to the uh, winning photo that was the end of a day towards the end of the day everybody else was packing up and uh telling me to get a wriggle on as usual and I could still see although the sun had started had already set often at home the sun gets more colour and the sky gets a bit warmer just after sunset and we'd had these lovely very pale pink watery colours in the sky but they were pale and I just was hoping for a little bit more intensity so I packed everything else in my rucksack and literally just left my one lens and camera on the tripod hoping that I might just get that last quick shot and then I spotted this pelican starting to run across the ice towards us and it was a little distance away I grabbed my camera I think I might even had it off the tripod by then because I was being told to hurry up uh, and took a few shots and as soon as I saw them I thought yeah I'm really glad I waited for that one. I'm really glad you didn't get on the bus. <laughs> I am glad I didn't get on the bus. Uh, and it just, it makes me smile. It's just a photo that makes me smile. What does winning Bird Photographer of the Year mean to you? Woohoo! <laughs> Sorry. Bird Photographer of the Year, mean, winning it is absolutely awesome. It means everything to me. I can't believe that I've won it. Um, especially when I look through the other photos. I mean, the standard is incredibly high, so I feel quite unworthy. But 
absolutely thrilled to bits and it's given me that extra kick up the backside or push to get on and do something more with my photography. I do it because I love it and it's a hobby, but I would like to give back a little bit back to nature. Do you have any tips for anybody who's looking to enter the competition? Um, I think perhaps because I have not had a formal photographic training, um, I am not constrained by the normal rules of photography as much as some people might be. Um, and so maybe, maybe my photos are a little freer. I think thinking outside the box and trying to, to look at what hasn't been done before is always very good for competition photography because there are thousands of absolutely excellent, technically perfect images out there. And although you need to hone those crafts, you need to try and do a little bit more. And I think also getting to learn the habits and behaviour of what you're photographing is also quite key because that will help you to bring out the personality of the bird that you're photographing. And I think that's what makes a photo impactful. How do you think winning the competition is going to affect the way you look at photography? I just think the more you see, the more you learn and just looking at all the other photos in the competition has given me some amazing ideas and lots of new things I want to try out. Um, and again, as I said, I, it's given me the impetus to want to try and do something good with my photography. Congratulations again go to uh, Karen Steele, uh, the 2019 winner of Bird Photographer of the Year. The 2020 competition is now open for entries and you can enter the competition by visiting the website at www.birdpotty.co.uk that's www.birdpoty.co.uk